Welcome to Deliverance Talk. Today I'll continue about Gideon. The three points that I shared with you all, there are another three more points. I'll begin with that so that you will remember what I had spoken last week. I had spoken about three points about Gideon, the three lessons that we learned from Gideon's life. God uses tough times to get our attention. God sees more than we do. God confirms his priorities with his presence. Now I go on to the fourth one. The fourth one says private faithfulness is a precondition to public usefulness. Before God can use any person, he has to set right his house in order. He should worship the Lord at his place. He should build an altar for the Lord at his home. And his home is the necessary place where the worship begins, where God can use him publicly. So your home is where you have to build an altar for prayer, for praise, for worship. Everything begins at home. And that is done in private where no one can see, only God can see. And when that commitment has become strong within you, then God can use you publicly outside by bringing many souls towards you and using you to glorify his name and to do, do exploits for him. The next one is God is patient with our faith process. Even though Gideon was called, he was fearful, he laid fleas, he had faith, but then he also had doubt along with the faith. We are all like that in the beginning. When God calls us, fearfully we do it. We still have doubts, even though when God calls us and tells us to do mighty things, so God knows our faith process. It has to be developed and faith can only be developed during adversity. When you have difficult situations, how you wait on the Lord and how you respond to that situation, how you act during those times will make you be very strong in the Lord. And that faith process has to be dealt with. Unless you go through difficult circumstances and situation, the faith cannot be developed. And God knows our faith process. See, it took for us nearly from 94 we started our journey with the Lord. Till today, so it is nearly 26 years, the faith process is continuing. We handled so many difficult circumstances, situation, and God knows how we are going to deal with it and how His grace and mercy is given to us each day to battle the circumstances. So faith needs to be developed. And God is patient with our faith process. He never pushes us, He never forces us, but He waits for us to get developed in our faith. Success is determined by God's power, not ours. So success doesn't come to us by our own talent, by our job, by our promotion, nothing. Success comes only from God. As a Christian, I repeat it once again, success comes from God. It's not ours. Nothing of ours is going to contribute towards a success because success only comes from Him. Only He can exalt a person. Only He can promote a person. Only He can lift up a person. So that has to be made clear for a Christian. We cannot say on our own talents and own merits we have come up. No, there is nothing in us, absolutely nothing in us that can glorify God. But God's power when it is made eminent and shown through us, we are a pot, a clay pot and God uses us. God uses us and when his power is made eminent in us, we can see success coming towards us. With men it is impossible, but with God it is possible. In uh, Luke 18.27, Jesus himself said, Now why did he say that? He said it for the rich people. It is difficult for the rich people to enter. But then again he said, that doesn't mean that uh, they can't go in. They can come in because it is possible with God. Everything is possible with God. What is impossible with men is possible with God, he said. Adversity is training ground for God's glory. Without adversity, there is no success. Without adversity, there is no shortcut for success or fame or name, nothing. There is a process and you have to go through it. Abraham left home to follow God. Moses lived in exile. Joseph was thrown into prison. David fled for his life. Mary and Joseph fled to Egypt. And now we see Gideon. So each one has an adversity which they have to face and then they see the mighty power of God released in their life and the success what God has kept for them. 
so when we see gideon's life when he fought he bow he um, pulled down the altar he he pulled down this uh, baal's altar and um, he um, fought with the midianites and he saved his people and then what happened after all this fights everything we read it in uh, judges 8 22nd onwards i want to read what happened last after all this battle in gideon's life the israelites said to gideon rule over us you your son and your grandson three generations because you have saved us out of the hand of midian but gideon told them i will not rule over you nor will my son rule over you the lord will rule over you and he said i do have one request that each of you will give me a earring from your share of the plunder why did he ask this so that he can gideon made the gold into a ephod which he placed in opera his town all israel prostituted themselves by worshiping it there and became a snare to gideon and his family so he was asked the people asked him to rule because he fought for the people the people got victory over midianites there was the lord's peace prevailing during his reign and so they selected him to rule over them so we have to work out on a faith process to get the success what god has laid aside for us so this is what we want uh, we learn from gideon's lesson and i just i want to close here and as i close i want to say don't give up whoever has heard this message and they are at the neck point where they feel this battle is so much i just want to give up i just want to wash my hands i don't want this faith thing hold on there is a 12th hour coming you are in the 11th hour and within one hour the 12th hour is coming in your life hold on to this and god is with you don't give up and you will see the battle is won because god is fighting the battle for us and as he called gideon who was very fearful he has called each one of us for the battle that he has kept for us and the victory is his in jesus name father we thank you lord for the victory that you will give us through jesus christ your son and my master all those who are fighting any battle maybe a job maybe a promotion maybe a relationship or maybe sickness or maybe financial thing whatever their problem is oh lord this morning there is victory for them by the blood of jesus christ oh lord and you are with them and you will fight the battle for them lord success is determined not on us but on you oh my master your power determines the success in each one's life lord and therefore we thank and we praise you lord for the success for each one of them in jesus name i pray amen